Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjago video on the channel today. Now, let's talk about more about that crystallized teaser that we saw about a week-ish or two ago. So, f again, for a brief shot, you see a brand new, seemingly brand new team of five ninja as the, the OG ninja are on the run, again. And you see these five ninja in different colors you have one in orange you have one in teal you have one in purple one in yellow and i think uh i don't know what the other color was i think it was like a brown was it a brown i don't remember um but anyways they show up and seemingly have a big brawl with the ninja now obviously the you might be thinking i'm gonna be talking about who the identities of these ninja are I can't, I don't know, from just from looking, because I ain't a psychic, okay? I, I mean, to be fair, I do have psychic moments every now and then, but I'm not a psychic. So, to, instead of talking about who the ninja are, I'm talking about what their roles potentially will be in the grand scheme of things. I mean, obviously, everyone know, has theorized that they're going to be like, the backup ninja team while the original ninja are in prison. So, or a less destructive one. Um, but I think there's more to it than that. You see, if, if my biggest hopes are correct, this brand new ninja team will become the official ninja team. What do I mean by this? Well, Remember the rumor that all the OG ninja might merge into a golden dragon? Well, if that's the case, and if they can't, like, unmerge out of the dragon and become human, or, in this, in this case, a nindroid again, they would essentially be stuck that way forever, and thus, they would need another ninja team to essentially pass down their wisdom and their... to protect... Ninjago City. So, in a way, a next generation. Um, and honestly, it would make sense considering I feel like a lot of Ninjago's, what Ninjago presented in the past, like elemental powers, I think they're going to kind of get rid of that. I think they're going to solely do ninja based, like just people who know the art of spinjitsu. Um, so, they may not have powers, which I don't think is that big of a deal. I think they really only brought in the powers just to kind of spice things up, and then they kind of nerfed that. But, I think the, the this ninja team, whoever it is, whoever they are, are going to be the new ninja team. They're going to protect Ninjago City once the original ninja form into their golden dragon form and can't unmerge out of it. Obviously, they could be of assistance, like, only in, like, the most last resort options. Like, if there's no way up, no other way, they'll be like, hey, oh, geez, we need you. And then we, they'll come like that. So, uh, they'll be kind of like the Ultra Dragon in a way, but <laughs> not really. But, honestly, I think this new ninja team that we see in Crystallize is going to be the permanent ninja team because in my mind uh this new ninjago is not going to focus on the main characters that we all know and love for over a decade anymore and it's going to focus on some brand new characters hopefully to um at either if they are returning characters or brand new ones that we may develop or develop more but what do you guys think who Give me your guesses of who do you think the ninja team are, if you can, and what purpose do you think they'll serve in the grand scheme of Ninjago? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel by clicking that red subscribe button, and clicking the notification button to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye!